You can use this poll on your live stream to keep your viewers engaged and interested in your content. So they stick around, you can have competitions on your stream, or just keep track of what your chat's answers are when you ask a question. I used this on my live stream pretty recently. I let chat choose the game to play on Twitch and uh, it was a lot of fun. This widget also allows you to customize the look so you can make a look however you want. And this is all for free as far as I can tell. There's no paid option to this. It's 100% free. So let me show you how to do this. These videos take a lot of time, money, and effort. So to support my team and I, don't forget to leave a like on the video. That would really help and push the video in the YouTube algorithm. But here's how you set up your poll on your live stream. Go to poll.ma.pe and connect your Twitch account. The link is down in the description. Now, as far as initial setup goes, that's pretty much it with this. But I'm gonna dive deeper into the settings here so you can customize it and best utilize this tool so you can get whatever your brand looks like and make it look really nice and just seamless into your streams. Now, keep in mind that this isn't available on YouTube. YouTube does have a, a poll system on their channels when you live stream, but you do have to have a thousand subscribers and you have to be part of YouTube's partnership program. This poll overlay is very powerful and easy to you. Well, I know you like overlays because this poll is an overlay on your stream. Other overlays that are free as well is the Neochrome overlay from VBI, which is a fantastic and free option. It's great if you're looking for a new face cam border and it's very versatile when it comes to your particular setup. It's got lots of color options, so you have room to choose whatever your brand is. Visuals by Impulse has a lot of options on their platform, including some of the unique tools like Super, where you can create your own callouts without any editing software. It's all done for you. The same thing with Panel Maker and Transition Maker. No editing software is needed. Just slap in your branding and make it your own. A lot of these assets on VBI are free, but if you use the link down below and get a premium asset, you get 5% off your order. VBI isn't paying me to say any of this. I just use their service all the time and I really love what they've got. You know, similar to that, that's from VBI and it's a prompt to let you know that you get 5% off your order if you use my link down below. It supports the channel and that's the only way that VBI compensates me for saying this kind of stuff. I just really love their service. Oh. So let's create the poll and see how to use it all. Okay, so let's run through this. I mean, it's pretty straightforward right now. Create a poll. Uh, let's just do what do, what what. <laughs> and let's go ahead and add some options. So I'm just gonna create some hypothetical ones. Once you've typed in your answer, just press enter. Once you've pressed enter and you've added as many options as you want, there is a limit, I think it's six. I don't remember off my off top of my head. And then what you can do is save this and it'll save it as a preset. And then let's say we wanna have a different question. What do now? And we can remove these options and create the next one. So, all right, so now we've added those and let's click the save button and it'll save it as a new one because we created a whole new question here. If we went back to this one, it would bring back these the questions and the same answers. Now let's go ahead and start the poll. So when we click start, it's gonna be active in our OBS, but you know, we haven't connected it yet. So first what we should do is actually, I'm just gonna end this real quick. And you can click here to reveal the link that shows up so you can copy that into your browser source. So what I'm gonna do is click here to reveal my link and obviously keep this private. And then I'm gonna go ahead in OBS, I'm gonna right click and do add, I'm gonna add a browser. Let's just call this poll. And then we're gonna go ahead and paste the link in here. And then 1920 by 1080 is my composition settings or my, my settings here. And then we're gonna do okay. Now nothing's gonna happen yet because I haven't actually activated the poll in the browser. So let's go ahead to our windows here and we're gonna go ahead. We can pop out the overlay with a green screen and you can copy this link instead if you want to uh, and put this in OBS or whatever stream recording software you use and then key out the green if that's how you really want to do it. But what I'm going to do is let's just close that and then let's go ahead and choose a question here from our presets. Let's start the poll. Now if I go into OBS, you'll see that this poll is active and it's looking pretty small and there's nothing really decorated about it. I'm just gonna go ahead and add an image here just to keep it interesting and, and not look so boring here, just to give you a better idea. So now you can go ahead and scale up your poll if you want to. So just make it a little bit bigger on screen and that's looking pretty good. Now when people type in chat, you can see if I type one in chat, it's gonna go ahead and add the answer to yes because number one is here, two is no, three is maybe 
I typed in one, so it's gonna add yes into the poll here. It'll tell you how many people have entered into this poll and it'll tell you how long that poll has been active. Now, let's say you wanna end the poll or show some results. So let's go ahead and do that. So when you click finish, it's gonna go ahead and activate the final results and tally up everyone and it'll give you the highest chosen answer if that made sense. So if I click finish poll, it's gonna go ahead and end it and highlight the one that's at the top or the one that's been chosen the most. This truck, man. Shush. And so now that I've got it on both sides of the screen here, I've got my browser here, with the, which is Chrome, and then I've got my OBS here, just so you can see what's happening. Now, this is gonna be active on my screen up until I press this button, which is hide poll from overlay. Once I click that, it's gonna do a nice little animation and kind of close the poll out because it's ended, people don't need to see it anymore. Now you've got some other further settings here to go through. So you can choose how many different options can a user vote for. So for example, let's say you wanna let people vote for yes and maybe. They can type in one and three, like for my answers here. It, obviously yours will be different, but you can let people choose more than one option. Now you can also choose how strong a subscriber or someone uh, who's a, a turbo sub, which I don't know what that would be right now, uh, or a moderator vote. You can can choose how much weight those votes hold so for example let's say your subscribers have twice the weight when they when they uh, put in their option into the poll so maybe you want to make them worth uh, twice as much or have twice the power I will go ahead and put uh, in the subscriber here I'll put two so it'll add two votes instead of one whereas just a non sub would be worth one vote you know you could probably do that and that might be fun an, an incentive for your community to subscribe or just for your subscribers to engage, although if they're subscribed, they're already pretty much engaged into your stream. Now, one little trick, if you don't want to show the unique votes and the time that it's been active, you can choose to select this box, which will hide that information, and it'll just make your poll look a little more simple and it won't have all the extra information on it, which is totally fine, and I kinda like it. Uh, I might just keep it unchecked for now, just because it's the default. Now, the position of my overlay, if I select it in OBS here, you can kinda see the border here. So if I go back here, if I choose the top left, that poll's gonna show up on the top left and I'm gonna have to adjust it. If I do the top, it's gonna top middle, you know, top right, middle right, and, and so on. So you can change what those would, you know, show up on the overlay in OBS. Now, here's the part that most people are probably the most excited about, is the theme or the look of what this could be. Now, there's a bunch of options here and you can choose between which ones you have and there's a lot you can do with this. There's endless options here. This is a lot of really free as well, which is amazing. You know, let's go ahead and type one in chat and, and let that go in it. You can see the nice animation it has. It just looks really nice. Now, you also can do a custom CSS template option here, so if you know some coding and stuff, you know, that works too. So a very simple tool with some very powerful effects to keep your community engaged or just keep track of your viewers' answers. If you enjoy these videos, please leave a like, that'd be appreciated. Show us some support for all the work we put into these videos because it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. Thanks so much for the support. It also helps push the video out in YouTube's algorithm. Just kind of get the video to get more views. Thanks so much, I really appreciate it. And leave a comment down below which video you think I should do next or tutorial or whatever it might be. Or maybe just let me know which visual effects you enjoyed the most in this video. Don't forget you can get 5% off any premium assets with visuals by impulse. Link is down below. Don't forget to check it out. They have a lot of free options too when it comes to upgrading your live streams because I noticed that I got a lot more engagement when I had really good looking alerts from visuals by impulse. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time but until then make something great.